Welcome. Welcome to Knowing Me, Knowing You. Now, I have a letter here from a listener, Mr Tim Stringer. It says, Dear Alan, I love the show, but please could you tell me, is your theme tune, Knowing Me, Knowing You, available on record? <laughs> if so, who's it by? <laughs> Yours sincerely, Tim Stringer. Well, Tim, Knowing Me, Knowing You was uh, originally recorded by the Swedish power pop combo, ABBA. Uh, sadly, no longer with us. But uh, the version we use, we, uh, we use instead a version of the song recorded by the Jeff Love Orchestra, which uh, I have to say, in my opinion, is superior in essence to the actual original. <laughs> so uh, I hope that answers your question, Tim. My first guest tonight is, I have to say, The Pits. That's a joke. Because, <laughs> because it's a joke with a point. Because I met him in The Pits at the Monaco Grand Prix because he is France's second best racing driver. He's sophisticated, he's suave. Please give a loud cheer and cry de coeur for second best French racing driver, Le Trey Bon Michel Lambert. <laughs> Knowing me, knowing you, aha. 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 <laughs> or, uh, or should I say, je sais moi, Alan Partridge, je sais toi, Michel Lambert. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you are a celebrity. You're France's second best racing driver. You get interviewed all the time. Do you get bored of the same old questions? Yes, that's very true. There's nothing worse than uh, an interviewer who cannot be bothered to find uh, an interesting angle. You know? Yeah, I can imagine. When did you first want to be a racing driver? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. yes. Yes, exactly when. <laughs> well, <gee. laughs> well uh, ironically, Alan, uh, I never wanted to be a racing driver. I actually wanted to be a chat show host like you. <laughs> But I turned up to the wrong job interview and pff, I ended up as a racing driver. That can't be true. No, it's not. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the famous uh, French sense of humour there. <laughs> now, <laughs> you're nearly at the top of your profession and what I want to know is how do you cope with the pressure? I take a lot of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. M Michelle, in, in this country, drugs are frowned upon, so better not to mention them. I was joking, Alan. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you joke in future, could you wink at me or something? <laughs> so let me know. Okay. They, they won't notice it's radio. It's fine, OK. Right, now, what do you think about when you're racing your car? What do you think about? Surprisingly, uh, I think about the race. Right. Um, what do you think about when you're interviewing someone? Well, nothing. I mean, <laughs> you see, but uh, but do, do you, when you're driving along, do you ever think, oh, sacrable, I've forgotten to set the video to record, I don't know, Top Gear? <laughs> what is uh, what is Top Gear? Uh, it's not. Uh, uh, all right then. Um, you've forgotten to tape uh, Serrano de Bergerac with Gerard Jeppardu. <laughs> Depardieu. 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 De. De. Par. Par. Dieu. 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 It's not important, Alan. Right. I think, uh, <laughs> I think what you're trying to ask me is, do I ever get distracted when I'm driving? No, I don't. No, 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 no. I'm quite specifically asking you, do you forget to tape Serrano de Bergerac with... With uh, Gerard Depardieu. Him, yeah. No, I don't ever forget to tape it because I saw it at the cinema when it came out. Right. Have you ever seen this film? Yes, yes, I did see it. No. You like it? I'm not so keen on it. I mean, I don't like what they did with the idea. They said it in the 17th century, gave him a long nose. <laughs> Maybe it was made it a bit funnier, but, but for the British, you know, Bergerac is John Nettles. <laughs> I, I, I thought you ruined it, really. 
I'm just glad you uh, haven't got your hands on Lovejoy. <laughs> Probably said it in the future. When, uh, when, of course, antiques will be even more expensive. <laughs> Not a bad idea, wouldn't it, really? And uh, the question is... The, the question is, yes, um, right, are you, are you winking at me? No, I was sniffing. All oh, right. Because I take drugs. Do you really? No, I was winking. <laughs> you see, I managed to sniff and wink at the same time. It's a French trick. Very clever. Um, now, well... Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but I think we're, uh, we're wasting our time here. Uh, right? Well... I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> if we're wasting anyone's time, which I concede we may be, then it's the listeners. Yes, but uh, at least the listeners have the opportunity to turn their radios off. No, wrong again. You see, a recent survey reveals most of my listeners are infirm. Or... <laughs> but, Alan, they could at least bash the radio with their walking sticks. No, you know, no. They can escape. A lot of hospitals have it piped in. They have no control. <laughs> Oh, I've got a list of questions as long as a channel tunnel here, and I'll... Well, just you... get through right. them. Right, OK, now, right. What's your favourite colour car? <laughs> Have another go, Alan. Right. <laughs> OK, fair enough. What's your favourite haute cuisine? Hot food. <laughs> oh... But there is some bad Encore, questions. Encore, Alain. Encore. Okay, right. There's quite a few. I'll just read through them all. You stop me if you like one. Okay. Fine. <laughs> right. What's the biggest road you've driven on? <laughs> What's the furthest you've driven without stopping? <laughs> no? Uh, What's the fastest car you've driven? What's the slowest car you've driven? I thought we'd be quite never twist on that. Alan, no. just read the questions. I'll stop you okay. when it's appropriate. Right. Do you own a bicycle? <laughs> Do Formula One cars use unleaded petrol? No, they use leaded petrol. Right. Is no, there's no conversation there. That's right, OK. <laughs> uh, have you ever driven a lorry? Have you ever driven a tractor, a minibus, a, a tank, a taxi, a rocket? <laughs> What's your favourite mode of transport? Land, sea, air... When you crashed three years ago, did you ever consider... Giving up motor racing for good? No, I didn't. Next question. No, I wasn't going to say that. No, you weren't. You no, had I was a more original say, question. Yes, I was yes. going to say, did you ever consider the scenery? <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. Yes, I did. I looked no, out of the no, window and no, I thought, I oh, look at the scenery. I, I wasn't... No, you answer. weren't going No, answer. I wasn't. I'm, right. How long no, more got... have you got to kill, Alan? I've got two minutes now. You got any more questions? No, I've run out. <laughs> now, there is a, a traditional French custom. We always give our guests a special French smelling salts. So I have some yes. here. You want to take these, put them in, in your nose, and well, then open is... up this little package here. Right, this is, a, this is a French smelling salt. Yes, it's a traditional French ritual. Okay. What do I do? Just now? roll up this tampon. Like the generation yeah. game, this. <laughs> Just roll that up so mm -hmm. it's kind of like a straw. Right. You see this line here? Just yes. sniff that line. I put here. this... What? What do we do with this? Put it up your nose. Right, you sure? <laughs> yes, it's fine. It's, it's good for you. I feel okay. really good. And what do I do now? Just sniff it up. Right. Through there? Yes. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's... And, the, and the other nostril. Yeah, OK. Right. <laughs> that's good. Hmm. Well, thank yeah, you. It's nice. Nice yeah. ritual. <laughs> and you'll find in about 20 minutes' time you feel really good and kind of up. You know. Thanks for the smelling salts, feeling better already. Um, <laughs> and uh, now time for me to say to you, uh, merci beaucoup, au revoir, Michel Lambert! <laughs> <laughs>